I have a microphone? I do. All right. Uh, always bad news uh, when, when you give me a microphone. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> thanks for coming. Um, I, I have some prepared remarks, but I, but the worst case scenario is that I'm going to ad lib, and that's about what's going to happen. I don't know. I feel like the, I feel like there's been this theme today of empowerment. Um, so we started off with Erin's talk, um, in which she told us about the kind of consequence of disempowerment, of not being able to control your computing environment, and what happens when people are no longer, when people, um, th this keeps resonating in my head, is um, Canvas is something that you're not allowed to control, and as a result, Canvas controls you, right? <laughs> Canvas is used um, to take power away from people who are organizing on this campus. Um, later, Kate told us about Kate told us about casual creators and empowering casual creators, and what does it take to take away, um, there's a word that Kate used, and it's transmogrified in my head to shame. Disgust. I was going to say shame, but it's, uh, but disgust. Uh, and so right now, Lee provides this bookend at the end of today to tell us, here are 12 concrete steps. Here is a, here is something that I had never heard of, and applying these directly to kind of the model of how we operate, the, the model of things that we can do in the computing realm. So I, I'm just delighted by that. Uh, so, so I wanted to share my delight with you. Uh, so that, that's, the, that's my ad lib. Here's my prepared remarks. Um, the closing of Bang Bang Con is this kind of emotional moment for me. It, it's been putting together a conference is a lot of work, and it's this it's kind of this moment of like whew, taking a breath, and that's kind of, that's nice also. But it's also this closing, this feeling of Bang Bang Con. And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring out this quote again that Lindsay had earlier from Rachel Carson. I should ask that her gift to each child in the world be a sense of wonder so indestructible that it would last throughout life as an unfailing antidote against the boredom and enchantment of later years the sterile preoccupation with the things that are artificial, the alienation from the sources of our strength. That's the gift of wonder. Uh, I, I wrote in my blog, uh, which I, you, you are not expected to read my blog. I, uh, I wrote in my blog a few months ago about the, the Bang Bang Con feeling. And at the end of Bang Bang Con West last year, I spoke a little bit about how we create this space together. And so, so I, here I am like a little bit nervous to bring this here um, because when I, what I wrote there is like to a little tiny audience and now I have all of you. And so like this is kind of like a personal like do I, do I take the moment here to bring in like my religious and ethnic background and all that kind of sort of stuff? I'm going to do it because that's, because that's what we do here. Uh, I'm, I'm glad, and I've kind of been hearing side conversations all over of people who have brought more than just their technical background to Bang Bang Con. So I, I have this kind of story, and there's this, in the Jewish tradition, there's this idea of, so, so on Friday night through Saturday, that's the rest day, the, uh, the Sabbath, Shabbat, whatever you want to call it. And there's this concept of the Shabbat spice. When you, on, on, on Shabbat you make, or you, for in, in my family's case, you buy challah, it's a specific bread. Um, and you can make that any day of the week, right? It, you can, it, it's not, I mean it is a pain to make, that's why I don't make it. But, but you can, you could make it any day of the week. But it tastes better on Friday night. And you, you, can, you can get it any day of the week, right? But it tastes better on Friday night, uh, after you've turned out the lights. And why is that? And so the, the mythos is that there's this special ingredient called the Shabbat spice. Uh, there's a special ingredient called the Shabbat spice. And so th this ingredient, I'm going to quote Lindsay again, who said earlier that it's not frivolous for us to be here talking about joy and excitement. It's essential. Um, and it's not frivolous to take the day of rest, right? It's essential. It's not frivolous to have Bang Bang Con. It's important that we have Bang Bang Con. Uh, so, so right, and, and even, I will say that even like relatively non-observant Jews like myself will periodically get a whiff of the, the Shabbat spice on Friday. So, 
Bang Bang Con to me has that feeling. It's this kind of special, this special moment that comes around once a year. And so the closing of Bang Bang Con West mirrors, in my mind anyway, mirrors the closing, the end of that last day of, that last hour of the day of rest. And there's this ceremony, Havdalah, where you, you kind of sing and you chant. And it's halfway between morning that like, now we are going to go back to our normal day. But also, it's this moment of hope that we get to take that kind of that special feeling and bring it back with us. And there's this weird thing. A lot of, a lot of Judaism is not messianic, like the, the savior kind of thing. And Havdalah weirdly is. And like every time, like last week, I went back and the world was still kind of gross outside. And the week before I went back and the world was kind of gross. But this week, when I open my door and when I turn the lights back on, then like maybe it will still be Shabbat outside. And maybe this year, when I open the door, it'll still be Bang Bang Khan outside. Um, <laughs> I, and so I don't know. I, I, I kind of have that. It, it's, it's this kind of, it's this very emotional moment for me, the closing of Bang Bang Khan, as I prepare to open the door and see what's outside. Uh, and so I, it's kind of just like this last moment is a moment to savor it. Um, anyway, that, that's, that's my thing. So uh, here's my list of thank yous. A thank you to you, our audience. Give yourself a round of applause. Um, many of you are here for the first time. And that's great. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for coming to Bang Bang Con. I hope you enjoy this. I hope you take this outside in the world with you. Uh, some of you are back at Bang Bang Con West for the second time. And that's exciting. Uh, Lindsay brought this up earlier. We were talking about this earlier. And that's exciting because now we're starting to build a community here together of people who like come back for this again. So that's great. I want to thank Bang Bang Con's past, who set the stage for this, and Bang Bang Con's future. And so that's my opportunity to tell you that the call for proposals for Bang Bang Con 2020 closes tonight anywhere on Earth time. Is that correct? Did I get that right? Uh, unless, right, yeah, so that's the case. Okay. Um, I have sponsors to thank. There are sponsors, are phenomenal sponsors um, UC Santa Cruz, uh, Baskin School of Engineering, and the Computer Science, er, Computer Science and Engineering Department. Uh, they provided this venue in kind. They gave us a bunch of money uh, with which we bought all sorts of, um, like the custodial services, things like that. Uh, so they gave us a bunch of money. And they, there's a whole bunch of folks in those departments who put in, I'm going to hold applause for sponsors all until the end, by the way. Uh, there's, there's a whole bunch of folks in those two departments that helped us out. Uh, Lightstep is in, so they brought three incredible people. And I'm so glad that Lightstep joined us. They sponsored, not only did they come in at a phenomenal sponsorship, they sponsored the delicious falafel lunch yesterday. Uh, they've sponsored captioning. Uh, and let's see. And so the question is, uh, one question that I had is, who and what is Lightstep and why do you need them? And the answer is observability if you run cloud services and you have felt the pain of grepping logs which I have because I'm a hardware engineer, but I still run cloud services. If you felt the pain of grepping logs, then you should talk to Lightstep. So those are our phenomenal sponsors. Let's, let's have a round of applause for our phenomenal sponsors. This year we had an excellent sponsor. Twilio came in at the excellent sponsorship level. Uh, and, and I want to say that uh, I, I actually, for one of my clients, I use Twilio, and like their sales organization is really, really good, and their product is really, really good. So if you have if you have uh, cause to put a SIM card in something and program the SIM card, you should talk to Twilio. And on the other end, if you want to answer somebody's telephone call uh, or answer somebody's SMS, then you should also talk to Twilio. So those are those are why you should talk to Twilio. Let's give them a round of applause. Um, we came in with four awesome sponsors this year. Recurse Center, we love Recurse Center. Okay, Recurse Center, if you, if you want to go uh, take a break from your job and spend six weeks learning to do something self-directed, if, if you want Bang Bang Con for six weeks, you should go talk to Recurse Center. Uh, so Recurse Center are great. 
And they, th by the way, they sponsored, if you're watching on the live stream or if you're watching a recorded version of this, uh, Recurse Center, uh, Center sponsored that. Uh, we had Mapbox. Uh, so they, they do, as the name might suggest, they do custom integrated maps. And if you use Strava, which I do, I'm, I'm kind of like a cyclist nerd, uh, their new, all of their new map tiles and special maps that have elevation and all that kind of stuff, uh, that's Mapbox. Um, uh, another sponsor is Accelerated Tech, which is a, this weird two-person consultancy. Uh, that's me. Um, <laughs> building hardware and software uh, solutions, and also come work with me. So like, if, if, you, if you really like that kind of thing, uh, hi, uh, come talk to me. Uh, Heap, so they're doing web product analytics. So the, if you want to know where people are clicking on your website and why they are or are not converting to click the buy button on your website, uh, you should talk to Heap Analytics. So those are our four awesome sponsors. Can I have a round of applause for them? Okay, I have a supporting team uh, from UCSC. We had A.D. Weinstein and uh, Melissa Baker who uh, helped us put together, who helped us like actually order the food, which is good. Uh, Juan Perez and Phil Johnston from Learning Technologies uh, helped us. And uh, in particular, I want to thank Juan who like came in here at 8 a.m. Saturday morning to help us get all of that set up. I think that's super incredible. Uh, and the university catering team, they did the, so they were responsible for the snacks and breakfasts and coffee. Uh, and the grounds and custodial staff who are supervised by Ava Bonuelos. Uh, the transportation staff for shuttle buses. Uh, they, I don't know if you took the shuttle buses this year. If you did, um, those, yeah, I, I can't express my gratitude enough for them getting all that set up. Uh, in the back there, Cindy Backman and Demi Smith have been recording and have been recording all of the slides and have done all of this effort to get the live stream up, up and running there, the Confreaks team. And white coat captioning, uh, Mirabai Knight is over uh, on that screen typing right now. Uh, can I have a round of applause for all of the above? Um, I have a bunch of speakers, all of the, so there are too many speakers, I cannot list the name of every speaker. I do want to give shout outs uh, especially to Kate Compton. Uh, we had three speakers who bailed at the last moment, uh, like literally Thursday night we had two speakers who had a health emergency, another speaker who had another personal emergency. And so Kate came in here uh, and gave this incredible keynote on two days of uh, notice and I just can't express my gratitude enough for Kate Compton. <laughs> Uh, and, and all of our speakers. And finally, uh, so I, I think that's all that I have. Uh, the organizers for, to, or for this weekend, uh, Dima Abu Adas, Dev Purandari, uh, Gargi Sharma is somewhere in the back there, along with Gina Lee, uh, Lindsay Cooper, Varun Gandhi, and I am Joshua Wise. The shuttle is at 4.40 p.m. Thank you very much. Good night. Get home safe.